dope, but I forgot to hit record. What are we gonna do? Just kidding, it's not a problem. Here we go. Hi everybody, my name is Dave and I like to make music on the internet, but I also like to make tutorials about the tools that I use to make that music in order so that you can learn how to make music yourself and we'll spread the knowledge and we'll spread the music and everything will be totally awesome. So today I'm gonna be focusing on retrospective recording, I think they call it in the Cubase manual, but it's pretty easy. Uh, for MIDI like that, the Cubase is always sort of recording and in order to get something, like if you're just tooling around on piano and you want to, uh, capture it for posterity. Like you're just trying to come up with ideas and you're like, what did I do? It's easy. You just go to your transport menu and there's an option here that says retrospective MIDI record. And that's also shift and then times or asterisk on the number pad. You hit that and what do we have here? Oh my god! Now this also sort of works for audio, but I'm not sure what the overhead is depending on how long you set the buffer. Uh, unlike MIDI where it will record full passages like this that are, I don't know, let's see exactly how long they are. That was about 30 seconds. It'll record as long as you're playing, honestly. Uh, audio, you have to set the buffer yourself. And in order to do that, you go to preferences. And then here in the record menu for audio, it has audio pre-record seconds. So you can change that to, I don't know, uh, let's do 10 seconds. And we'll just apply. And I do feel like this might actually affect, uh, you know, how hard your processor is working because it's basically always recording 10 second snippets. But anyway, we can show, I can demonstrate how it works. Uh, you actually have to be recording at some point. So if you were like, let me just throw down a chorus for this. And it was like. Steel. Steel representing for them gangsters all across the world. Steel hitting them corners and them lolos, girl. Steel got time to perfect the beat. And I still got love for the streets. It's the D.R.E. Uh-oh, I only hit record at the end. I should have 10 seconds of retrospective recording. And I just use my arrow key and drag it back. And boom, you have retrospective recording. So this has been a quick tutorial on how to do retrospective recording in Cubase. I hope you all have found it useful. If you did, feel free to like or subscribe or do whatever you do on the, on the uh, YouTubes. And have a great day, everybody. Bye.